Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Dead Estate. For those of you that have been on the channel a little while, you might remember that about a year ago now, uh, a little over a year I think, uh, this game came out and I played it when it first came out. It's actually published by one of my friends, Two Left Thumbs, and it is a amazing, amazing game that got brought over from Newgrounds and made into a full game, and I actually helped with some of the um, early testing and stuff for. I really love it, and I haven't played it in quite some time, and it's had quite a few content updates, so I thought we'd jump back in again, excuse me game, I thought we'd jump back in again and give it another go, and to celebrate that and to celebrate the new update that just came out, I want to give away three copies of the game to any of you guys that are watching, so please, if you'd like to win a copy, just like the Peglin uh, giveaway I did a few days ago. Leave a comment saying that you want the game and leave a like on the video and you'll be entering the giveaway. And then when I upload another episode of this in a week's time on, I believe it'll be Saturday, I will uh, announce the giveaway winners and the those people will be sent copies via uh, Steam. I'll add you as a friend on Steam and I'll send you a copy for the game. And you can play this amazing game yourself. So yeah, three copies up for grabs. So please do leave a comment below if you'd like it and uh, a like on the video. But anyways, let's get right into this. Like I said, it's been a little while since I played this. Um, I got a few unlocks done. I got a few people. I'm not quite sure why she's gold now. Um, but I think we're just going to go in as Jeff and we can go as costume B as him. I have the, uh, the Nerm costume. So we might as well. Also, there seems to be some money here that I don't think was a thing before. Anyways. Let's just jump right in. But if you haven't seen this game before, essentially this game is a sort of isometric style uh, roguelike shooter game where you make your way through a kind of haunted house uh, through multiple levels, making money, and you've got um, this rat called Chunks that can uh, gang up on you. Do you know what? We'll quickly just tweak the audio settings a little bit here to um, put that down to like there and... Put that down to like there. Cool. We'll try that out. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. But yeah, we're, we're going to try and make money, kill enemies, and we've got to try and be reasonably speedy because there's a... Uh... Oh, there you go. We got... Uh, this is the boss key. We can get into the boss room with this. We've got a, a somewhat time limit on us here because there's a, a big guy that um, will make his way towards us. If we're not careful. And you can do stuff like this. Look, you can like jump on the furniture and stuff. It's really, really cool. I really like the design of the rooms and the way that you play the game. Hey, it's Cordelia. It's Boob Lady. Um, get dizzy. Boosts damage but causes bullets to randomly change direction. Uh, boosts your maximum HP. Increase fire rate and all your shots become bouncy. The map and Ambrosia. I would very much like slime, but I don't know if we're going to be able to afford that. We'll see. Uh, we can get a good bit of money from just breaking stuff. Um, and I apologize for breaking your stuff there, Cordelia. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people that saw this game when it first came out might know it for its fairly uh, aggressive advertising in terms of the uh, art style that they, uh, that they decided to use with Cordelia. Um, I think it's a really good way to grab people's attention to a otherwise great game. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's not great, <laughs> but I mean, like, um, it's a really good way to catch people's eye. Definitely. They, they did a good job of marketing this game, and I actually might get 300 here, you know. Okay. I unfortunately took damage there. Should be alright here though. One thing I learned about this game is jumping around is a very, very good idea. Uh, so we're going to do that as much as we can. Um, still crack all of these up. And we've got another golden scorpion here. That's insane. Golden scorpions are uh, little enemies that can give you quite a lot of extra money. And as you can see, we've got 481 now. So let's go back over to Cordelia's shop and grab something from her. I love the fact that we're a little gnome here. <laughs> it's great. Right, hello. So we'll grab slime. Awesome. So now we have slime. Increased fire rate and all shots become bouncy. I really like the idea of bouncy shots. I don't know if they can bounce off of enemies. And then in our treasure room here, we can get um, weapons or uh, items. So we'll see what we end up getting here. Uh, slightly increase all of your stats. Do you know what? So far, we have some really good stuff going on. Really good stuff. Yeah, with the bouncy shots going around, I think we've got a pretty good build going already with all the extra stuff we've got happening here. Oh, Lord. That little thing is spewing all sorts of stuff at me. It's going to take me a little while to get used to the game again, so I might take some rather dumb damage early on. Um, but like I said, we do have to try and be quick here. Um, I will take this. This is, a, this, is a, blah, blah, blah. this is basically a challenge room where if we can kill the enemies in the, uh, in the time given... 
we um, get the reward that we just jumped at. So let's hope we can do it. I think based on our current stats and stuff, we should be perfectly fine to do so. Now, doing it without getting hit is a totally different ballpark. So we'll see. You little weird mole rat thing. I think there's three waves, isn't there? Yeah, three waves. We've got two big guys here. We might actually not make this. We'll see. Okay, we should be... Nah, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. It was close. It was very close. And we got a gold scorpion out of it, so I definitely don't mind that. But unfortunately, no reward for us. We do have to be quick here, though, because like I said, Chunks is... He's awaiting. He's awaiting. He's a, a rather dastardly guy. We can't spend too long on each floor. I can't remember exactly how long you get. If I remember correctly, you do get a fair bit of time. Whoa, these are new enemies. These are new enemies. Interesting. I know there's new items and new guns, but I didn't know there were many new enemies. So we do have a, a doctor here. We can grab more HP, more strength. I'm just going to grab strength for now. That's just extra damage. HP we don't really need because we're looking good on HP. We can grab our first weapon from over here as well. We get ourselves the flame shotgun. Awesome. So now we can swap between these two. Now our base weapon has infinite ammo. Our shotgun does not. So once it's used, it's used sort of thing. We've got to be kind of cautious about how we utilize it. Good, good. One last room over here and then we'll go to the boss. Just see what we can get. This has been a good first floor though. Actually, we've got a few rooms. You see what I mean? You can just jump over enemies' heads if you get it right. So it takes a little bit of doing and it is a little weird. Oh, these are new enemies as well. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember these guys. So many scorpions. But yeah, you can see now we were doing 12 damage a bullet. Now we're doing 16 damage a bullet. That's a lot of HP there. Wow. Oh, and then this is basically just a free teleport to the starting room. It's pretty nice. It's it's, it's rather than sort of enter the Gungeon's method of teleportation. This just teleports us back to the starting room. It's, it's a nice quick way to get around. Anyways, we've explored everything apart from maybe the secret room. Quickly, actually, let's go check our shop. Because we do have 420 gold still. There was some other stuff available. Boosts your max HP, boosts damage, but uh, causes bullets to move in a random direction. Okay, Chunks is about. I just heard that. I'm going to go for the damage, but bullets random move in a random direction. Because we've got Bouncy. Who cares if our bullets move in a random direction, right? That could work out for us. Here he is. Here's that big man. But if we get into the boss room, we don't got to worry about him so much. We'll see what boss we end up getting here. Big Slime? Big Slime. Is it Big Slime? It is. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's the Queen Festa. Okay, we're up to 18 damage now. 18 damage a bullet is pretty good. We unfortunately did get hit there. The aerial shots are a little bit hard to dodge. We've got some HP here, though. Hey, there you go. We did it. And we actually have two paths to pick from here because I've unlocked the alt path. I think this one's alt path, so I'm going to try it. Just got to get on this and stand still, and it'll take us up. And this will take us onto the roof, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I don't remember the exact flaws. But there's some alt paths that you can go to. To do some secret stuff. And, and get like the true ending. I honestly don't remember how it all pans out. So I might miss some things on our first run here. But if you guys really like, like this series. I will surely keep playing it. I didn't, it didn't even end up using my flame shotgun. I completely forgot about it. My bad. My bad. I suppose I can use it. For uh, random room clearing here. Beautiful stuff. We've got our boss room there. We'll just use the key on that right away. What do we got to do with this guy again? Oh shit. Okay. Okay, that guy's kind of tricky. <laughs> I didn't really realize that's how it works. I didn't remember that guy. You're just going to sit there. Oh, he's throwing bones at me is what he's doing. Oh, I've got to look away from this guy to get him to turn around. Okay, slightly different skull boys here. Taking a bit of damage here, but it's all okay. We can jump to hit those guys. There's a bit of verticality in this game in terms of attacking. Reveals the entire map of the current floor. Unfortunately, really not great. Oh, hello. Who are you? Who are you? You're new. 
I'll take the most expensive thing first. I'm taking it all. We got increased maximum HP, a UFO buddy that attacks enemies using its tractor beam, chance to block all incoming damage at one HP, and causes some pots to explode on destruction. That's a very cool secret room. That, that's, that's, I'm, that's surely new. I've not seen that before. Very cool. Yeah, this is doing good. Don't know if the pot explosions can do any damage to us. Now, one thing to note is that if you if you go and... Uh, oh, god damn. Oh, god. These guys are hitting me real good. Um, if you go and... Um, grab another weapon, it'll replace the one that you currently have. You can only hold one weapon at a time, so we kind of want to use up the ammo on this bad boy before we do anything. What did we get that? Oh, that's that's a weapon. Okay, we got grenades. So, unfortunately, we I didn't even realize that was a weapon. We kind of wasted our uh, shotgun ammo there. But, this thing potentially is pretty good. We got some ammo there as well. Health is not looking great. And we don't have a shop this floor either, so... God damn. I'm liking this. Right, so let's go and uh, let's go and use this on the boss, and we can come back, I think, and grab the chest. You can recycle stuff as well. I think this is Giant Pumpkin, if I remember correctly. Giant Pumpkin? I don't remember how this pumpkin works. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's doing really good damage. I'll say that. Okay, I, I remember you now. I remember you now. The random directions that this thing's moving in is causing some issues. Okay, we ran out of ammo. We are taking quite a bit of damage here, but we got him. Unfortunately, oh no, we can go back. Nice. Uh, we also get this piece here, which is part of the puzzle that we have to solve in order to get to um, the secrets later on, the different endings. So now we can go and grab this weapon over here. And we get ourselves the bomb gauntlet. Oh wait, what? These are fists. Interesting. They do a lot of damage. 47 a hit there. Wow. Oh, Chunks is here. Let's get gone. Before he gets on our ass. Really got to be speedy on the uh, smaller floors. I believe it's the time it takes for him to arrive is based on the size of the floor. So a floor like that that's not got a shop and stuff. You're really going to be quite speedy. He is going to be on you very, very quickly. Right, so let's see what this weapon's like then. These little little fisties. Probably don't want to be using it on pots because they're just free to destroy. Got our uh, key straight away again. Scorpion there. Golden Scorpion. Okay, good. It's still there. I thought maybe if I left the room, it'd disappear. We've got really good money right now. Just don't want to jump around that. Okay, so uh, the pots that are... Uh, the pots that are going to explode do actually have a little flashing animation to them. That's good to know. Oh, shit. There was a goddamn... Mm, there was a goddamn scorpion out of that pot. And I didn't see it. You can get health out of these pots as well, so that's another good reason to do them. I will try and do this challenge again. I'm only at 4 HP, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm hoping this weapon suits us well. I don't remember what you do. Okay, you've got the little bubble above your head. Okay, this thing will kill pretty fast. Ah, god damn it. Can I get some health drops, please, game? Ah, there you go. <laughs> that kind of... It's not the health drops I was really looking for, but that kind of works. I'm liking the tractor beam, little fella, doing us some good work there. Nice. Makes your screen grayscale. Don't think I want that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that does have some statistical benefits. But I'm not going to go for that for right now. Okay, we want to find our shop pretty soon here. Starting to find traps on a lot of the floors here, so we've got to be slightly worried about that. We can get our new weapon here as well. 
base katana, but this one being pretty good. And we got a weapon shop here. The little moth things, they move very strangely and always confuse me. No health from the pots, though. Ayo. So we can buy weapons from you. The nuclear crossbow. Wow. We can buy ammo refill. That's new. That's a really good addition to that shop. Because the gun shop I find fairly useless for the, a lot of the time. Because unless you don't have a weapon, you're not going to want to take it. But knowing now that you can buy ammo in that shop, that shop becomes way more valuable. That's a very big pot. What the hell? I, I want to try and be quick here because I really need to find the other shop. Visible guy there. Same time, I don't want to rush past all the pots because they are pretty valuable. You can get health and money from them. You don't need to teleport right now. This is new. A silver coffin key is needed to unlock the hatch. I don't currently have whatever that is. Intriguing. Oh boy, this thing's... Some of these enemies are really rough. That's a new one as well. Hello there. Hello there. Um, bullets travel faster. Increase the chance for high value items to spawn. That seems useful. Gives you an additional weapon slot also. Seems crazy good. Um, and we got chunks on us now. If we enter a shop, he will leave us alone. But at the, at the minute, we're in a risky position because we don't really know where he is. And um, we've, we've still got places to go, things to do. Extra weapon slot seems amazing, though. Like I said, he's about somewhere. Damn you, game. Taking so much damage right now. It's all about sort of learning the perspective of the game. It's a little bit funky to start with. But once you, once you understand it, once you get there, it's not so bad. Right. Don't remember what bosses are on this floor. I only have 2 HP because there was no um, health shop, unfortunately. So we'll have to just play it by ear. Unfortunately, I forgot this is a melee weapon. So it does a lot of damage. Melee weapons tend to. But it does mean we have to get a lot closer than we'd like. The good thing is we are uh, doing a hell of a lot of damage right now. I'm liking that the little tractor dude is kind of telling us where the guy is at all times. Hey, there you go. We got it. We'll go to the alt path again here um, and hope for the best. But I, at the minute, I'm a little worried about my HP. I'm hoping this, like, chance for high value items to spawn thing we got kind of... I'm hoping health counts as a high value item is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> Same tip as last time. Give yourself a present. I will. I will. Lowers your maximum HP by two. Um, used as currency with someone. I'm going to try that. Oh, wait, what? Damn. I thought it said buy two. It says two, two. What is this? That's new too. Okay. We have definitely screwed up here. Okay. We're on a reasonably hard floor here. He fires with you. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what this uh this this golden thing is. I want to clear the floor out first before I go for that though. Okay, his bullets are bouncing all over the goddamn place. This is quite hectic. Do you know what? If I can, let me just go to the gameplay settings. You can. I'd, I'd like the ability to turn off damage numbers. And maybe it's on video settings. Effect settings. Hmm, we don't have it right now. But, I'd kind of like the ability to turn off damage numbers, because they're getting a bit crazy. <laughs> We're all out of ammo on that there. 
Luckily we've got another thing here. Good. Sawn off shotgun. Not bad, not bad. Good bit of stuff from here already. I yeah, I don't know who this toilet paper goes to, but I'm a, a little a little more than a little scared. Ammo. We don't have the key yet either. Just realised. The noise this thing makes while like bouncing its bullets all over the place is crazy. Nice. We're getting so much extra HP now that we don't fucking need it. God damn. I should really be looking for secret rooms where I can as well. Literally all you've got to do is like walk into it. I'm pretty sure. Got hit by something there. I think it was the creep on the floor. Might end up dying this floor. We shall see. There's some health. Wait for the creep to go. Awesome. Got our life back, just in case. Dude! The creep was, oh, it was disappearing and I walked on it and just, just, just got hit by it. Thought it was kind of gone already. Excuse me? He's left this pot all the way up here. Okay. See, I want to fight the boss, but I also want to go up here. I'm going to try go up here instead rather than fight the boss and see where this takes me. I'm more curious about this than potential death. Also, the boss on this floor, if I remember correctly, is kind of rough. Too hard, try and easy difficulty. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm hoping this floor is where I give this toilet paper to someone. Hello, gold. Um, what's going on here? How you doing, sweetie? Oh, hello. Replace your bullets with cookies and increase their damage. Yes, please. Increases your jump height. 150 for 1 HP is not a good deal, but I, I need to take it in case. Do more damage when you have less than 100. Thank you. Increase jump height, thank you. And the cookies, thank you. Find the wanted poster. You unlock a new character, okay, hello. Intriguing. I'm not too sure what to think about this floor. How you doing, sweetie? Stay safe, honey. This is just like a bonus floor, maybe? Maybe this is just like a random thing that can happen. Let's go back to the normal path here, because I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get all the pieces to do the puzzle anyways. I'm just curious to see where this goddamn toilet paper goes. I've gotta give it to someone, it said, but. Who knows what that could be? Yeah, kitchen. It seems like just an extra floor. Maybe I've got to find the bathroom next. Yeah, the cookies doing extra damage is rather nice. I want to see how much my pistol does. I've got another extra floor here by the looks of things. Oh, what in the shit is that? I'll be honest, I might die here because I'm very, very confused about what the hell's currently going on. We're only doing 19 damage per shot. That's not a lot. Still think I'm going to die here. What do you do again? 
Oh my god, those feet are brutal. Where the hell did that come from? Anyways, I know it's a short video, but actually, hmm. Wait, okay. I was gonna leave it there, but let's uh, let's at least give the new character a try before we leave off, shall we? Oh, hello. New cinematic. Cinematics in this game are pretty beautiful, gotta say. Oh lord. Jeff. God damn, she looks crazy. Who's bursting out the back? Yep. I like this. <laughs> like kind of a comic strip sort of thing. Pretty cool. But yeah, we just unlocked this character here now. Awesome. This is the boss. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give her a go. We don't have an alternate costume. But these are the other characters you can play as. You can play as the person from the shop, Cordelia. Here, I don't think I have any bee costumes for anyone else. I, I have her bee costume. Yes. Huh. This is my one of my favorite characters, Mumba. Anyways, let's let's play as the boss. Give this a go. How long will you last? So. I see, okay. Okay, you throw these and then you right click to detonate them. Character seems pretty strong so far. Yeah. She also starts with this. Make sure explode upon death. If your um, explosion kills an enemy, you receive one HP. Okay, that's pretty cool. Causes some pots to explode. But yeah, you can, that's, it's kind of cool that you can stack them up. Okay, I like this character a lot. Probably do a full proper run as her. In the next episode as well. Let's see what we get here. Undefined. Nice. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Okay, now I can just leave them around as mines. Yeah, if I detonate them, it switches weapon. I have just realized I'm on very low HP now. Treasure rooms contain an additional item chest and chance to stun enemies and set them on fire. Okay. Yeah, lost a bit of HP there. But it's okay. Chance to stun enemies and set them on fire seems useful. I like that a lot. There's some HP, good. I really like the animations on the HP bar. Set up a wall for them to get past. You shall not pass. Got the health doctor. Get our stats from there, of course. Or I pretty much always want to go for damage. Speed is like okay, and health is pretty good, but damage is always like gonna be the way for me. God damn, even got a bit of lag then from how many uh, explosions went off. Beautiful. That key nice. Good, good, good. And I think the undefined weapon we got there is basically just random, uh, random shots from any gun. <laughs> I love that. We got some spare HP there as well. All right, what, what you got going on? Uh, move faster, well, 1 HP, allows you to see enemies' HP. That's actually pretty useful, I'll take that. 
Good luck. Right. Yeah, let's see how much our grenades are sort of doing with the stacks. Double items here. Uh, the light around you becomes much larger. Nice. And I don't know what the other one we got was. Increase your accuracy. Pretty good. Awesome. HP there if we need it. Things that chase us are just absolutely burned, aren't they? <laughs> I really love that. You know what, we've got a lot of thingies around here. <laughs> Beautiful. You know what money we can get? We've got good money, actually. Some flying fellas here. You can see the bombs that are uh, primed to uh, set enemies on fire as well, which is nice. Right, quickly go back to our uh, shop to get some stats. I got by one damage, one HP. Actually, nah, I'm just going to buy two damage. Damage is all. Right, boss time. Really should be looking for secret rooms as well. I'm very bad at it. But yeah, this just fires a bunch of bullets from different guns. It can be real wacky. Which boss will we get this time? Same one as last time, or the big blob? Same one as last time. Luckily, seeing boss HP is actually insanely good. Um, I unlocked uh, the B costume in under 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go regular path this time. Might not be as big of a risk. Probably a good idea for us. Feel no remorse. I really love the fact that she starts off with explosives. That is, like, so not normal for characters in games. I like it. Okay. Leave a bunch of these around. Damn it. Try and jump over enemies. Didn't succeed too well there. Quickly go back and grab the HP I missed. Luckily, those ones only stop you from jumping around them. Otherwise, they're pretty much fine. I have completely gone the wrong way as to where I was hoping to go. <clears throat> Just absolutely nukes them. It's great. Holy sugar tits. What the fuck? That enemy's so scary. <laughs> But I think you can, there's a, there's a button where you can recycle stuff that you've already got. Yeah, I can right click to recycle this. Get some money for it. I'm on one HP right now, but I ought to go find wherever that HP was. Oh, wait, it was here. It's no longer there. Apparently you can't leave HP for later. Good to know, I guess. I find it so hard to hit these goddamn butterflies. Get out of here. There's our boss. We don't have the key yet, though. Oh god, I almost pushed that guy right into me. The nail gun's crazy with his fire rate. I really love that chain reaction. Play out the whole room in one go. Okay, teleport back. Keep using this. I don't know how long for this world we are right now, but we'll try our best. This enemy could really screw me up, so I'm setting up traps to kill it. No, there's HP right there. Okay, 
I died, but I did that thing where if I explode, if I explode and kill something, I get one, I heal one. So basically, you get to come back to life if you death explosion kills something. We got pretty lucky there. Pretty darn lucky. Another teleport. We don't really need that right now. I love just rapid jumping as in this game too. Also, I've got to say the music is just an absolute bop in this game. Oh god. I wasn't ready. We'll try and get whatever this rusty nail is. Excuse me. You spawned directly on top of all of these bombs. Why aren't they blowing up? Ah, bollocks. Okay, let's just use the nail gun from now on. Beautiful, and we get melee weapons do more damage and not going to be further back. It's good for later, potentially, but right now it's pretty useless. Oh, God. Give me that ammo, baby. Finally got our chest as well. A double chest, too. Fire weapons faster, I like that. And then we also got... Get a free item to start every floor. Okay, well, this is good. We get a lot of free items right now. What? Hello, we have 700 for you. Um, Pretty useful. Seems interesting. I'll take that. Right, let's go. Because yeah, now we can see all the secret rooms. Allows pots on enemies to sometimes drop flashbangs that stun all enemies upon picking them up. Pretty useful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the idea of the flashbangs. That's nice. Right. I like this speed boost when we enter a room as well. The fact that it's active in rooms that we don't have combat in. So many flashbangs here. Okay, that's good. Nice. Can buy some weapons off of you. Um, I flame minigun does sound goddamn awesome, but not a great usage of our money. We got this again. Silver coffin key is needed. Have to find out where that is. Grab that. We make our way back. Chunks is here. Oh, fuck. I don't know where the boss is. Get out of here. You can kill him if you've got, like, none of DPS, but currently we do not. He also heals when walking between rooms, too. Ow! Walked right into him there. I'm just gonna get rid of this, because I'm not gonna use it. Okay, this thing's just like a wave-based combat. Yeah. Oh my god, this is stressful. Okay, nice. We got it. Keep on the regular path this time. Ooh, our health is... Health is a bit spicy right now. Health is a little bit spicy. I'm a little bit spooked. Grab that. Nice. Generate um, a little money as long as you're at 1 HP rooms with enemies. I mean, it's not bad to have it. Drop, you fuck. That did no damage to you? Okay. We got ourselves a, a weapon. 
Oh shit, okay. Kind of interesting. We can like buy attacks at enemies that they step on and it deals damage. Doesn't seem that good, I've got to say. I mean, kind of got to cover the entire floor in them. I suppose when they, st when they stay stood on them, though. Ow. These enemies are tough. There's a lot of new enemies here. I don't know particularly well. Damn. Oh, so that was her explosion thing she did there, but unfortunately we didn't kill anything. But fun new character. We'll try her again soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look into the new updates of Dead Estate. And like I said, remember, if you want to enter the giveaway, please do leave a comment below uh, and a like on the video. And check back in next week's episode where I'll announce who gets the copies. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.